Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to apply the unlist function in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you two examples and both of these examples rely on the list that we can create with lines 2 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you will see that a new list object appears at the top right of RStudio and we can also have a look at this example list by running line 5 of the code. So if you run this line of code, you will see that here at the bottom in the RStudio console, our list is returned. And as you can see, our example list contains three list elements, L1, L2 and L3. And each of these list elements is containing numeric values. Now, if we want to unlist these data, then we can apply the unlist function as you can see in line 7 of the code. So within the unlist function, we simply need to specify the name of our list. So in this case, we have called our list my list. So this is what we have to specify here. And if you run this line of code, you will see that um, a vector is returned to the RStudio console. And this vector is containing all the values of the three list elements of our example list. And you can also see that above these values, the names and the index positions of our list elements are shown. So for example, the first uh, element of our output vector um, is coming from the list element L1 and has the index position 1. The second output element of our vector is also returned from the list element L1 um, with the index position 2 and so on. So as you can see, this basic output of the unlist function is uh, quite convenient if you want to know which element of the output vector is coming from which list element. However, it is also possible to extract only the values of our list. And th this is what I'm showing you here in line 9 of the code. And uh, in line 9 of the code, we are simply specifying the use names argument within the unlist function to be equal to false. And if you specify this, then you will see by running this line of code that now only the values of our list are returned. So the names of the list elements and the index positions are not shown anymore. Yeah, so this is basically how to use the unlist function in the R programming language. However, if you want to learn more on the function, then you can check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the R code of this video in some more detail and I'm also giving more examples for the unlist function in the R programming language. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me a comment and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications in future whenever I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.